Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into four more packs of Battle Bonds. So it's a bit of a bonus episode today. Sometimes I like to throw in another pack or two. And with me are the Pack Blessing Champions, Tezzeret and Liliana. We're giving Ajani and Gideon a little bit of a break. Seems like that first episode wore them out, so let's see if I can figure out how to do these packs. I have learned that there is an easier way to open packs. Look at that, actually. Uh, no. <laughs> that failed spectacularly. Okay, there's supposed to be little tabs on the side. There we go. And the whole pack just opens right up. I'll have to try that again. Uh, on the next couple. Okay, so I had this method. Let me uncommons. Yeah, so let's zip through the commons. We have shock, shoulder to shoulder, doom to center, sky streamer, saddleback lagak. It's got to have the most interesting card name. Wrap in Flames, Canopy Spider, Frost Lynx, Elemental Cat. Interesting. Have you done anything with the Frost Lynx in your deck? Leave a note in the comments. Yotian Soldier, or Yotian, Benthic Giant, Hexproof. That's pretty cool. And that is the common. So, if you are not already aware, the pack ordering is a little messed up with Battle Bond. Everything's back to front and it really discombobulates me. So we're doing things a little differently with this episode. So uncommons, we have Azra Oddsmaker. Azra Warrior, whatever that is. Boldware Intimidator. Giant Warrior. The crowd goes wild! Okay. Even got some goblins and other weird characters in there. And the rare is... Let's take a look. It is Archon of Valor's Reach. So a creature Archon or Archon as the case may be. 5-6-4-6 six, six mana with Flying Vigilance and Trample. As it enters battlefield, choose artifact, enchantment, instant sorcery, or planeswalker. Players can't cast spells of the chosen type. And I imagine that would be a fun one in EDH. One of these little cards you chuck in there to annoy your opponents. And an island and a warrior token. Okay, so pack one, not too bad. We're really looking for those mythics though. That's where a lot of the value is in this set. And I am really going to have trouble opening these packs, aren't I? I thought it was supposed to rip right open. Okay, so if I can do this without spoiling things. Let's put that over here. It's probably far too late for that. But we have a champion of Arishan, Hound Warrior. Dog tribal is a thing, people. Leave a note in the comments if you are looking forward to the dog tribal decks. Shambling Ghoul. Augur Spree. Isn't that from Gatecrash or one of those? Borderland Marauder. Jungle Wayfinder. Return to the Earth. Totally Lost. Millennial Gargoyle. And he's probably eating his avocado toast right now. If you don't get the joke, don't worry about it. And if you think it's terribly lame, leave a note in the comments. Cow Prowler. And that is the commons. Now let's move on to the uncommons. We have a Noxious Dragon. Hunted Wampus. <laughs> what on earth is that? That is some crazy weird artwork. Reminds me of some of the older cards. Now this is interesting. Okay, so we have a rare. What does that mean? Sea of Clouds. So this is a land. 
Sea of Clouds enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. You can add a planes or an island. Fair enough. So do we get a foil? Is that what this is about? Oh, what is this? It is, it's a foil proud mentor. Uncommon. So this is a 1-1 one, one for 3 mana partner with Impetuous Protege. Oh, I see what's going to happen here. When this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Impetuous Protege, which incidentally, using my psychic powers as the next card, into their hand from the library, then shuffle. You can pay your plans and tap, tap target creature. Foiling isn't that great on here, but... I'll take a foil any day of the week, and let me guess, it's the Impetuous Protege. So how is the... yeah, that foiling's a little better. Creature, Human Warrior, 0 4 for 3 mana. You can partner with Proud Mentor, so we just looked at that one. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus X, plus 0 until end of turn, where X is the greatest power among tapped creatures your opponents control. Okay... And forest and a mere token. Is a mere deck something you have used in the past? Is that, um, are they any relation to slivers at all? Um, when did the mirrors come along? That's way before I started playing, so I'm gonna say, would that be like Mirrodin or something? Or leave it in the comments if you know what that set was. And I'm totally butchering these packs. Oh my god. Alright. Let's see here without spoilage. Okay. We have a Liturgy of Blood, Hand of Silumgar, Light Walker, Midnight Guard, Earth Elemental, Jungle Wayfinder, Impulse, Crawl Warrior, Called a Heal. Okay, yeah, that is a rhino. I thought it was some weird rhino character. Dagger, Drome, Imp. And that is the commons. Zipping through those in short order. Now, what do we got here? Uncommon. We have a Step Glider. Chain Lightning! There we go. That's a good one. I think that's one of the few uncommons worth anything, unless I'm mistaken. Noxious Dragon again. Okay. And rare is a game plan. Sorcery for six mana has assist. So another player can pay up to five of this spell's cost. Okay. Sharing the load with the mana there. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards. Exile game plan. Okay. Pretty much, uh, what is that, like a board reset type thing? Your hand and graveyard start all over again. A spirit and a mountain. Okay, last pack. I'm going to try to open it the regular way because I don't like that tab. And am I going to have a bad time of this? Yes, I am. Ah, it's really forcing me to do this, isn't it? All right, fine. Does anybody else have as much trouble opening these packs as I do? <laughs> Zombie giant. Look at that. Got a few too many jaws there, mister. Okay, so let's... Okay, spoiler alert. What do we have here? Silver Chase Fox. Bloodborne Scandrels. Claustrophobia. Magma Hellion. Pathmaker Initiate. Elvish Visionary. Negate. Giant Growth, Pierce Strata, Prakada Club Security, and that's probably, what is that, Kaladesh or uh, Aethervolt, one of those. 
Okay. Now, what do we get? Chain lightning! Yes, you probably got a peek of that when I was reorganizing cards. Jubilant mascot homunculus. Hmm. Interesting. Phantom warrior. And the finish. Will Tezzeret and Liliana make a return? A core spirit dancer. Wah, 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 wah. So zero two for two mana. It's a core wizard. Core spirit dancer gets plus two plus two for each aura attached to it. Whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. All right. Seems like a decent deal, but not the mythic we're looking for. Zombie giant and a planes. Okay, so in the rare slot, what are these foils? These are uh, uncommons. I like this one. I think that would be a fun EDH card. So Archon slash Archon of Valor's Reach. And for the uncommons, I could pick the foils or I could... Pick Chain Lightning. Yeah, why is this so good? Sorcery for a single mountain. It deals three damage to any target. Then that player or that permanent controller may pay two mountains. If the player does, they may copy this spell and may choose a new target for that copy. So the player or that permanent controller... Right, so you're essentially, you know, that could come back to bite you, but if they don't have any mountains, you're laughing. All right, and the commons, my pick today. What's it going to be? Let's take a look at Claustrophobia. Enchantment Aura. For three mana, Enchant Creature. When it enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. So that is a fun uh, aura ability there. You can pretty much lock up that creature. They can't really do much. Seems pretty good. All right, so leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.